Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be doing a glitter skull damask tumbler. Um, I found this idea from another channel called Lovely Lulu Designs. I'm going to put her channel link in my description. If you have not been to her channel, definitely go check it out. She does an incredible job on every tumbler that she makes. Um, if I can make this half as good as she did, I'll call it a win because this is going to be a very advanced tumbler, um, lots of different steps, and probably, you know, busy, but in a good way. And I'm not going to take every step that she did, um, but I am going to try to make it as similar as I can. I just really hope it turns out good because she killed it. She did an amazing job. So definitely make sure you check out her channel. Um, what I'm going to do before I paint anything, this is a 30 ounce um, skinny from Maker Flow Crafts, by the way and I will have my link for that in the description. So what it's gonna be is about, yeah, roughly to there is gonna be like a um, marble kind of Milky Way look. And then a strip like this is going to be um, uh, chunky glitter. And then the rest of the way up is gonna be a peekaboo. So a lot of different things going on, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I planned on going with a purple theme simply because I have like 50 different variations of purple glitter and I am obsessed with this chunky glitter mix and I wanted to use this so I'm going with purple for that middle piece and then um, this fine purple is going to go up top and then I'll have to go through my micas because I do have a purple mica and I have some purple acrylic paint. So I will have to go through and um, find exactly what paints I want to use for the um, Milky Way look at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and point you guys down here. What you need to do first is you need to tape off where you're going to do that middle um, glitter spot at. And to try and get the absolute best lines that I can. And this is something that I found from her video. I'm going to start with the bottom line. I have some things stacked here. And I have a pen. And all I'm doing is holding that pen very steady, putting it up against my tumbler, and turning my tumbler. I don't have a pencil out here. I would use a pencil. I'm pushing down pretty hard my hand holding this pin down um, so it won't move and I can get a good line here so I can see what I'm doing when I go to tape. Okay, I don't know if I made it all the way around or not. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's going to be the bottom line. And for my top line... I'll be good. So I'm going to stack it a little higher with some different things. Scribble this pen to really get it working. And do the same thing again. I'm holding it very tightly. So now, I don't know if you can really see it, I doubt you can, um, I have my lines. So I'm going to get all this stuff out of my way here. And what I'm going to do next is paint that off, and the, or not paint it off, tape it off and then paint that inside with some acrylic paint. And after I do that, I'm gonna use the Mod Podge method, which is something that um, she never did in her video. But I'm gonna use the Mod Podge method just to get that glitter on. And 
And I'm trying my hardest to just follow those lines that I made. Try and make this good and straight. And I guess if it's not absolutely 100% perfectly straight, um, it won't matter too much because probably in a couple of days, I'm gonna be putting some lines with vinyl, like some stripes, I should say, not lines. Um, some stripes on the edge of this glitter part. So if it's not 100% straight, that can cover it up. Okay. I'm just going around and pushing that to make sure everything is down super flat. So I think that looks good. So let me see here. This and I need to go grab a paintbrush. Get my microphone back on here. Okay. So now I'm going to just paint that inside. Like I say with all of my videos that I do, if anything involves glitter, paint your tumbler the color of your glitter or as close as you possibly can. I may or may not end up having to put two coats of the glitter on here. If I can avoid that, that'll be awesome. If not, that's okay too. But painting your tumbler your glitter color definitely makes your glitter seem more vibrant. So I'm going to set this in front of my fan, let it dry, and do a couple more coats of the paint just so it can be um, as pretty as a spray paint. I just don't have an exact purple that color, so that's why I was going with this um, acrylic paint. So once that dries, I will come back and do the glitter. I did one more coat of the acrylic paint. It's not like perfect like spray paint would be, um, but I think that'll be pretty good. Uh, where's my Mod Podge over here? Sorry guys, that's like the second time I have to do that in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on this gorgeous glitter. This is Finding Paradise from Shine Apple Glitters very holographic chunky which i think is perfect for the middle of this tumbler just going to go through and put not a super thick coat but enough of mod podge Trying to make sure I have all the way up to the tape, all the way around it. And now just going to sprinkle this on all over that Mod Podge area. I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to go through and pour the rest of this entire bag on it because chunky glitter, you know, you can miss some spots. And even though that's pretty much what the purple paint underneath of this is for, like to kind of help camouflage bald spots, but you know, there is a little bit of fine glitter in, woo, in chunky mixes. So I'm just going to pour it like crazy. So maybe that will um, hide any bald spots and so now I'm just going through with my finger and pushing down the chunky pieces that are not laying completely flat and so that way I won't have to spend a hundred hours sanding and adding way more epoxy than I need to 
Trying to make this as smooth as possible. Now I'm just going to put all of this back in the bag and I'm going to immediately take that tape off while the Mod Podge is still wet. If you wait until it's dry, um, the tape and the Mod Podge and the glitter and everything could adhere and to, you know, to each other. And then you're not going to have those nice crisp, crisp lines because it's going to pull everything off with it. So do it while it's still wet. Okay, so now we have a nice line section of this gorgeous holographic purple. And I'm going to set all this to the side. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that same purple um, acrylic paint and that same brush. And I'm going to be using all acrylic paints for this. I am not going to be using any spray paint just because spray paint is a little messier, hard to control exactly. And I don't want to get anything where it shouldn't be. I do not want to mess up this tumbler. So now I'm going to paint the top of this this purple and apply this glitter um, unknown company just like the last video that I posted ready to move on to putting glitter up here and again I'm using the Mod Podge method which I get super sloppy with if y'all have not already noticed I'm a very messy crafter like I see on a lot of the um, Tumblr pages I follow on Facebook, I see people that post pictures of their she sheds and they are like stunning, like gorgeously decorated and <laughs> organized and everything. And then I come out to mine and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> I need to take care of some of the mess around here. Now my house is clean. I swear my house is super clean, <laughs> but my shed is uh, messy. So if anybody else has a super messy craft area or shed or room in their house, whatever, please let me know so I don't feel like the only one. <laughs> Appreciate it. So now with this unknown glitter, I'm going to cover the top of this tumbler.
12 any excess. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna let that dry. I feel like once the Mod Podge dries, it won't look so streaky. Um, and I'm not like super worried about it um, being like flawless because it is gonna be a peekaboo. But I'm gonna let this dry and then um, seal it. But first, before I do that, I better go ahead and paint the bottom of that black. So I'm going to paint this bottom. Ooh. I'm gonna paint this bottom black. This is just black from um, Apple Barrel acrylic paint. And again, I'll be doing a couple coats of it, but I want this down here to be black so I can make my um, Milky Way effect down here. So now that I have a layer of epoxy, I'm going to take this purple mica powder from Misty's decal shop and just put a tiny bit in some leftover epoxy. I really don't have much left at all, so I'm going to be stretching this pretty thin. And I'm going to mix up that mica powder into the epoxy. And after I went back and watched this video, I noticed that my hand was completely in the way um, for this part here. And I'm really sorry, but just know that I am just getting some of that collared epoxy on my index finger and making diagonal um, swipes all around the cup. I'm spacing them out like I'm not making the entire bottom of the cup purple, but I'm doing quite a bit of it. And don't forget to get the bottom of your cup as well. So like I said, I'm pretty stretched thin with the amount of epoxy that, epoxy that I had left. So now I'm going to switch into a different pair of gloves. And I'm wanting to do the same thing that I just did with my finger, only with a popsicle stick. But I want the epoxy to be a much lighter purple. So what I did was I got some white apple barrel acrylic paint. And I actually just put some into what I had left of that purple epoxy. And I wasn't sure if this would mix well or if it would work, but it didn't. It did end up working. So if anybody else needs to do something like this, just know that it it does work. And then once I got that mixed up, it made it like a really super light purple, and it was perfect for what I wanted. And I'm just getting a little bit at a time on the popsicle stick and um, swiping it across the cup. Some of it's going over that darker purple, some of it's going in between the spaces. Um, just really random. I'm not letting it drip, I'm actually letting the popsicle stick touch the cup and swipe that onto that part of the cup. Again, don't forget your bottom. And now what I'm wanting to do to kind of blend all of that is... Um, get some black epoxy and do the same thing I just did with the popsicle stick and the lightest purple. So I'm using the same cup of epoxy. I just squirted some black um, acrylic paint in there and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just kind of helping those lines blend into the cup a little better so they don't just like look like random lines on the cup. And now I'm going to take that same um, holographic chunky purple glitter that I put there on the middle and I'm just going to get just a couple pinches and very lightly sprinkle it still in a diagonal direction onto random places of the cup. And I'm not putting very much at all, I only did like two or three little strips. And 
And now I'm going to let this spin overnight and come back to do the rest of it. So here we are the next day. There's one coat of epoxy over it. I've sanded it pretty well. That's why it might look kind of scratchy on some areas. I'm not sure what happened up here. Like I literally came out here um, this morning and there was like pieces that fell off. So luckily this is going to be a peekaboo. I think I can get this covered up as long as I don't put um, any of my peekaboo vinyl like on that. Um, so yeah, not no clue what happened there. But I think this turned out really pretty. Um, really, really beautiful. So what I'm going to do next, I got my files from Etsy from um, Lovely Lulu Designs, her Etsy shop. Um, she, whenever you buy it, they come in like the full, you know, all the pieces and then there's um, a file where it's just one big piece. So I took the file that was one big piece and, um, you know, duplicated it a couple times. So I've got three and then I took a square, put the square over half of it, sliced it so I could have my half pieces. And, um, you know, I had to resize them to fit my cup, but, um, yeah, so these are really, really pretty designs. So we're just going to go ahead and do the peekaboo now. I might need to grab a newer piece of my transfer tape because this feels like it's kind of old. I really don't use vinyl that often. Um, yeah, after this one, I'm going to have to get a new one. Everything is wanting to stick except for that little corner right there. Come on. There we go. Okay. So I just kind of guessed on the size. You know, I did, you know, put my tape, me my tape measure on it. Um, but I made them 2.5 by 2.5. So I made a perfect square, so to speak. Um, and... Like any other peekaboo, I am using a vinyl that I don't care to waste because this will be taken off and thrown in the trash. But look how pretty. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. I just said I was going to get a new one. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pain, I think, to weed off of the cup after I get it spray painted, but totally worth it. And this transfer tape that I'm using is actually um, transparent laminate from the dollar store. So you get like a humongous roll of it and I think I paid like four bucks or something. I got it at my local family dollar and it works perfectly. Especially cause like I said, I don't use vinyl very often. So I really didn't want to spend the money on the Cricut brand transfer tape and I am just placing these you know spread out however I'm not really um, making a certain pattern out of it or anything whoops this stuff is strong too so be careful with it uh, let me go with one of my little half pieces now lay it down for this because and I'm not going to lay it like the line at the bottom I'm not going to lay it directly on this because there is another step that I'm going to do so I'm going to lay it just like a little bit above so there is another step I'm going to take so I wanted to let you know that because I didn't want you to be like, that looks like super awkward. Why did you not put that directly down? Um, there's a reason, I promise. This is my last whole piece and I'm just looking for a good place to put it. I really don't know what the heck happened up there. That's super weird. Thankfully, it is a peekaboo. I mean, it could have been fixed if it wasn't. 
I would have just had to do like another glitter layer and another epoxy layer before I did anything. But it could have been fixable. Mm. I'm going to try to use all of them. I think I'll be able to. All right. So this is what I have on here now. So I am going to cover up the bottom here and I'm trying to think about what I can use. Give me just a second. So I have some of this like paper that came, I think it came with maybe my epoxy. I'm not sure. I keep this stuff because I like to wrap my cups up with it before I put them in boxes and ship them. Um, so I've got like a ton of it. I'm going to tape it around, I think. Tear off a piece of it. Let me get a piece of tape ready. I just want to make sure that I don't get anything. I'm putting it on my chin so I can <laughs> grab it later. I just want to make sure that I don't get anything, any paint, um, where it doesn't need to be. I guess I can always go back if I miss any spots. I can always go back and touch it up with some black acrylic paint. Okay. I don't want to get black paint on that right there. A little bit of my glitter. Chunky glitter. All right. So now this looks funky, but I'm going to take it out back and spray paint it, spray paint it with Rust-Oleum Black. And this is Ultimate, whoop, Ultimate Ultra Matte. Um, it doesn't really matter if you use matte or gloss or whatever, but that's just what I have. So I'm going to spray paint all of this up here let it dry and then come back and peel all of this off. All right, this is dry. I've got my little weeding pick. So now it's time to get all of that vinyl off. Here we go. guys that took like almost an hour like I think I was pushing like 45 minutes um, but yeah a lot of little pieces but absolutely gorgeous so now the final part of this before I go to the last two or three whatever coats of epoxy I have three different sizes of just lines here I got on my Cricut Design Space uploaded a square um, unlocked it so I can make it as big or whatever as I wanted and I made the width of all of them 11 um, it'll probably be too long but I can just snip it um, and then I made the smallest one the height was 0.1 this one's 0.2 this one's 0.3 so we're gonna start with the 0.3 and I am just going to peel the backing off a little bit and fold it 
And before I do this, let me grab my little towel here to help keep this in place to uh, start this whole process because I do not want it to roll. So I'm going to put these lines, I'm gonna start with the first one, um, the biggest one, and it's gonna kind of outline this section of glitter here. So I'm gonna try my hardest to get it nice and straight. And there's the end of it for me. So yeah, they're a little long, but they can be cut, no biggie. All right, so here's my first line. And I goofed up and I did not realize, um, I just have to, have to cut some more out, but I'm gonna need uh, two sets of each because it's gonna be on top and bottom. Um, but I didn't think about that. So now, right over top of this line, um, in the middle, so you can see some peeking through each side. This is a glittery purple, this is Cricut brand um, vinyl. And I am just gonna kind of like center it up in between the lines here. Whoops. Wow, those break really easy. What the heck? I don't normally use the Cricut brand. I love my Cricut, but I'm not really a big fan of Cricut brand stuff. So I guess I'll have to be more gentle with this vinyl. Okay, there's the end. Where do I my scissors went? My phone's about to die. Uh, right there is fine. Okay. So now I'm gonna take that last black piece, the tiniest one, and put it over top of that purple. I really hope I was in frame when I just did that. If not, I'm really sorry. Sometimes I get lost in what I'm doing and I'll like pull the cup or whatever close to me if I'm doing something like super dainty or whatever like this and um, I'll pull it right out of the frame. I really hate doing stuff like this because I never really get it to my satisfaction, I guess. Um, but I'm also very, 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 very critical of myself. So. All right. Just push down around that. So that is a little border that we have going on. So now I'm going to cut out three more pieces because I totally forgot, you know, there's a top and a bottom here. Um, put that on and then we'll head straight to epoxy. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to put another coat probably after this one cures so it'll be good and smooth and uh yeah that's it so if you guys have any questions at all 
like always, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.